Hello, I'm Rena Cologne for Shakedown Productions, getting ready to interview Tony Cash, hip hop artist slash producer. How's it going, Tony? I'm good, I'm good, I'm chilling. And I have a question. Where does the name Tony Cash come from? Because is that your real name? No, it is not. It is not. Tony Cash really just came up, obviously. I like the two names. Like, it's like, you know, Mom, I don't really like mine. I think people respond better. It, yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. It kind of is. <laughs> So tell us a little about yourself. Where were you born? You know, stuff like that. Um, I was born in Yonkers, New York. Even though my music doesn't sound like it, but, <laughs> but I was born in Yonkers, New York. I came here when I was five. Came to Kissimmee, and um, I've been here ever since. Okay, cool. And did you study? Always study music, or like? In high school? Or? In high school, that's really where music really is. When I was young, I was really into sports. I played basketball as a kid. I played football and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, music really just kicked off for me really about uh, 14, 14, 14 years old. It's like, Mom, no more athletic stuff. Nah. I want to be a musician. Yeah, I want a drum set. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you performed anywhere? I performed a few places. Well, this it all started off in church, so I performed at a few churches. So you're used way. to being in front of a crowd already. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Have you performed yeah. your own work? Yes. Performed. Well, I've always everything always been original. Since I started recording music, it's, it's always been original. For me. So how'd you get into music? Did someone like influence you to get into it, or did you just decide it one day? Like, was there someone specific? Um, really, there was no. One influence that just got me to music. When I used to go to church, I used to sit down, do the pews, and just stare the whole church service at the drum. Really, it was just drums that just fascinated me. Yeah. And not only that, but I hear drums in the room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I've, I've experienced that too. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was drums. It was basically it. So, what's your favorite memory of music? Favorite memory. Here it goes again. Okay. Um, one time in high school, they used to have me always. They make you learn. They want you to be well rounded as a musician. So they had me in the symphonic band, and um, we were right, right about to do a show. The curtains down. Right before the curtain comes up, you know, a band they have the, the huge crash symbols. Yeah. So um, right before. The curtain comes up, they're introducing us as a band. The curtain comes up right before one of the crash symbols comes loose off its handle. Boom, onto the floor. <laughs> right onto the floor. As the audience is laughing, we carry on with our songs. It's like, no, we, you must not steal the show, it will go on. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Is there any distinct style in your music? Distinct style. Um, Yes, I would like to say um, one thing that sets my music different than a lot of up and coming artists is I'm not afraid to be me. That's good, that's a good quality. You know, um, you can always just put on one of my songs and it say the song is exactly what you're feeling at any moment, you know? That's good, it's authentic, it's not exactly. sugar and spice you know, and sugar coated. Exactly, whether you're just in a store and, you know, the flyest girl of your dreams walks by. You know, you can have my song on the iPod and just throw that on. Like, it's like you know. a young boy soundtrack. It's like, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So, what aspect do you like the most? Do you like to, the creating part or the performing part? Which is your favorite part? Me, I love being in the studio behind the scenes. You know, I love, uh, um, you know, just really being in control of the music, you know, really just, you know, working with an artist, you know, collaborating, collaborating, I love to collaborate and, you know, just recording, recording is, is I love the studio environment, it's just something about the environment. That yeah. Is, I just love I could be there all day. That's good, so you're very involved. You're not just like, just okay, I'm a puppet, I'm gonna go perform, I'm gonna do everything. What inspires you when you're like about to start to write a song? What inspires me? Um, and really, any little thing. Any little thing, a, a TV show. I'm watching a TV show, and I'm like, oh. Really, one, really, it was a movie. 
Really? You know, you know the part of the movie when the montage comes. The montage yes, comes those up, are my favorite parts. And a lot of things are happening at one time. Yes. That just motivates me for something. It really works. Because there's some really flash. Works. It's like <gasps> exactly. It really makes me believe like I can do something. You yeah. know, so that's good. And. Do you, is there anyone in your family, like, do you come from a musical background, you know, in your family? Um, not really. Not really. I really can't say that I do have a musical, any kind of musical background as far as family is concerned. So you're the only one, all the little ones look up to you for the musical influence? I guess. That's my little cousin right there. That's <laughs> my, my younger, my baby cousin. That's <laughs> my <laughs> So, uh... Yeah, I mean, we got a, a few rappers in my family, that's about it. That's good. So what would you say is your best overall quality? My best overall quality? Um, in the studio, I feel I'm really good at listening and understanding the point of view that people are trying to make. Yeah. Some people don't believe so, but <laughs> I'll just say, that's, they're you know, like stuff. exactly, right, exactly, they're like, <laughs> right, right, but those are, those are only, you know, people that, that really know me, that I, I really consider brothers, that, you know, maybe some of them, most of them will tell you, you know, that boy Cash in the studio is a, it's a problem, <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem, so that's, that's really it, it's my best quality, I feel. So if that's your best quality, what would be your worst uh, quality? I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Um, my worst quality. Um, I still have to think about it. What is my worst quality? Maybe hey, you can come up with that, but they would like to share. So don't lie, man. tell the truth. Is, what's man, his worst quality? Actually, his, his worst quality could kind of be his best quality. The fact that he's always in the studio so much, you know, like... Well, he lives there basically, so he doesn't have time for anything else in his life. That that could be a bad quality, like, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I mean, nah, he's a really cool dude. It's cool to your best. I guess that's not all bad. I guess it's all good. So, what else would you do if you didn't have music? Hmm. Is there anything else? Like, say you couldn't do music anymore. Is there? Anything else you see yourself doing? Um, if I didn't do music, I, I honestly don't know how to answer that. Music is it. Music there is, is, nothing is it. So, what are your goals in music? Where do you see yourself going with it? Goals in music. Um, my goal, personal goal in music, is to be the best artist that I can be. And e an even better producer. So, Tony, if there was one thing you could say about music, if there's like a saying that you have in your head when you approach something, like Door the Explorer, you know, we can do it, something like that, what would it be? What's your saying? <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> um, but um, I would say, just always be yourself. Like, um, you know, you can always go in the studio and, and put whatever down, but your audience can see through that. Yeah. You know, you always, you know, what, what's in the dark always comes out to light. Exactly. I have a firm believer in that. That's good. Um, so, zero bullshit, people. Zero bullshit. Okay. Exactly. Straightforward. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tony Cash. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And that's all. I'm Rena Clone for Shakedown Productions, and you've been watching me. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>